So I would imagine obviously the largest cost we all incur is actually getting data centers into space. Mm -hmm. Roughly how much does it cost per like pe per petabyte? Um, oh gosh, but wait, wait change change because you, 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 you or another yeah. way to frame it. Like how much yeah. does it cost to like get on one of these payloads? I'd say, you know, oh uh, well well that was one that wants to be just food in the middle on the non-disclosures with us lads. Okay. Uh, how much they charge. But our next mission's going forward. Ballpark, you're looking at about $24 million for a satellite, but they're very okay. good, and 10 million to launch ballpark. Okay. But then Moore's Law is kicking into the storage devices, so you actually get better marginal costs because you can double capacity of right. fly. Yeah. So you control, I mean, look at me, I'm becoming a, my CFO Carol will be amazed. <laughs> I go, uh, you know, the whole control of marginal cost and CapEx versus OpEx and the whole way in right. the The cost of going to space has come down so much thanks to SpaceX. Mm -hmm. uh, it's down at less than $10,000 a kilogram. When I was selling launch vehicles for McDonnell Douglas all those years ago, it was $100,000 a kilogram. And we thought we were good. And we were good at those days. With Starship, you're looking at it coming down, according to public accounts, down to less than $200 a kilogram. It's astounding. And there's all the competitors coming into the field. It's amazing. 